Claremont has an Amtrak passenger stop that a group of residents want to see get more use. To that end, they asked for help from Congresswoman Annie Custer. Helping in funding and economic development, Custer explains why train service in rural parts of the state will be a regional economic benefit. Well, I'm definitely excited that your city council here in Claremont has put together a terrific committee of councillors and business people uh, and people in the community that want the train to continue to stop here and be a real source of economic development and growth. Um, they have a list of items that they'd like to work their way through, um, a, a whole variety of connecting transportation so that when customers get off here, they have some place to go. Um, making sure that there's some type of safe and um, weather uh, place for them to wait here, so a, a type of uh, facility where they could wait here um, as they're waiting for the train or when they disembark. Um, and then they've already done the signage. We're talking about parking, making sure that we have a park and ride type facility so that um, customers could leave their vehicles here if they choose to go uh, up to Canada or down to New York. Um, so there's a whole series of things that we can do to just make uh, Claremont a very welcoming stop to bring both business, tourists, and just families that want to want to travel in and track and make sure they want to stop here in Claremont. There are several options regarding finding the money to increase Amtrak service in the western part of the state beyond the Merrimack Corridor. There are lots of different sources of funding, some of it coming via the Amtrak budget and some of it coming, I want to make sure that we investigate other types of rural development funding. Um, even the U.S. Department of Agriculture has rural development funding for economic opportunity. And I think uh, if we put together, if the city of Claremont puts together a good proposal, that that's something that could be viable for federal funding from that source. Um, we have uh, safer grants that have to do with transportation and maybe that's a, that's an option so we just need to explore all the options I'm delighted to be here today and talk with folks about how we can make put Claremont on the map when it comes to rail travel I'm very excited to be here Custer met later with Claremont residents and city leaders to discuss passenger rail studies. The Northern New England Intercity Rail Initiative is the basis of this study. Massachusetts and Vermont and Connecticut play key roles in the study. To learn more, go to the website shown below.